This for all the interludes, we pick and choose To properly set the mood for whatever feeling you used to You wanna ride to see if my knowledge move you It takes two to tango, but I see you in that tutu I move through you, traffic like Ruby Cruz Do wrote it in red ink so the paint bleeds through you And now I see all that traveling inside Garrett Julian I am Garrett Julian First name, middle name But, you know, if you know me other than that You know, I was Garrett Julian Minifield Garrett Julian the whole thing, that's who I am. I'm from North Augusta, South Carolina. And that is right across the bridge from Augusta, Georgia. You know, just in case you're wondering, Augusta's in Georgia. You know, we get that a lot, but yeah, that's where I'm from. I went to North Augusta High School. Shout out to Yellow Jackets. Made it to the playoffs again. Let's see what they do, you know? But um, yeah, um, I love hip hop, funky stuff all day. I grew up listening to old school, traveling with my parents all over the place. Like, I've been to each region in these United States already, you know, um, and that's, I'm only 19 now, I'm looking to explore the rest of the world, hopefully this, this hip-hop stuff will take me to do that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I just want to, I just want, I just want to see the world, I just want to, I, I want to bring peace, because I've been through a lot of, you know, a lot of, a lot of bad things in life, and I know everybody has their own problems, but, you know, I, I want to showcase mine in this music. I actually, uh, I actually was a singer way before I even thought about rapping. I um, grew up listening, like I said, a lot of old school, a lot of, and not necessarily old school, old school, but old to me, you know, being a young guy, you know. So that was a lot of Usher, that was a lot of uh, uh, early Kanye West, and. Um, and yeah, I, I sang all the way up until about until about tenth grade, and um, I decided, you know, I, I sing pretty well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much on the way to conquering that art that I have, you know, that that gift that I have, and um, I, I wanted to venture off and do something else. So I'm sitting in my living room one day, listening to Kanye West, and that's a normal story for me if you know me, listening to Kanye West, and I'm like, you know what, I'm about to try and rap something. I always did poetry. I always wrote songs to sing, but never songs to rap, and that's how that's how I got into that. And after that, it was pretty much it was crack. After that, man, just straight addicted. What is Ruby Cruz? Um, it's only one way for me to tell the story, and um, hopefully, we got enough time. I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible because I can take it there. But um, yeah, um, 11th grade. I was begging my parents for a car. You already know, I was begging my car, my parents for a car. And um, I was actually, um, was it 11th grade? No, I was 12th grade here, excuse me, 12th grade. And um, I was actually applying to the Art Institute of Atlanta. And um, I was up here for orientation or whatever. And I come outside, and it was just me and my mom for orientation. But I come outside and I see my dad. My dad throws me a pair of keys. He was like, hit the button. And then, doo -doo. so I'll go find the car wherever it's at and I see this. I pull up on this, this, this old four red Impala with doves on it. You pop the trunk, you already got the tens blasting in the back already. Came with it and from that moment I was like, mom, please, this is my car. Like, please let me have this car or whatever. And they, we, they got me the car. Car, I didn't really go anywhere and I uh, lost a lot of friends basically and um, had some girl troubles or whatever. And it's just, it's just a, a big, a big bundle, a big, a very large bundle of, of, of events that just that just pushed me closer into being more bonded with my car. You got to be comfortable in your own skin in order to 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 be to be comfortable anywhere. And me stepping outside of South Carolina, which is completely different than Atlanta, you know, it 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 it, it was challenging. But I wanted to have something that held me together, and I think Ruby Cruz is that is that centerpiece between. North Augusta, South Carolina, and Atlanta, Georgia. As far as tapes goes, I'm working on a few singles that I want to drop, but um, ultimately I'm working on two two big collections right now, and that's um, Black Caddy, and I think I I explained one time about something called Empty Box. Um, Black Caddy is just a a, a, a a reciprocated version of, of Ruby Cruz. Ruby Cruz is a real bright and um, a bright, funky, fun, exciting, 
uh, exciting album. It, it, I mean, it really, if you're having a bad day, I hope that Ruby Cruz, I feel like Ruby Cruz is one of those things you could pop in and, you know, just, just funk it out, man. Just dance it out. Just feel good about yourself. And, um, yeah, Black Caddy is the, the direct opposite of that. I want, I wanted everybody in Ruby Cruz to feel my excitement, feel my joy, but now I want everybody to feel my pain. And I feel like Black Caddy will bring that. I'm looking to do some shows, you know, get out and network with some folks. I'm just want to grow, man. Just, just, just want to grow. That's all I can really say about it. I just want to continue to get better. I want to continue to, to, to touch people with this music because where I am now compared to a year ago, man, it's unbelievable. It is really unbelievable how things can change, how you can change yourself. You just have to have that mind to do it, and you can't let anybody doubt you. Like I hear some, like when I told people before I left, people were like, people were like. You know, you you gonna rap like that? That didn't because I didn't I didn't necessarily you know put off the image of a rapper back then. You know, and that's that was all me because I did the singing thing back then. So I'm not really I'm not really upset by that or anything. I'm just saying like they said I couldn't. They said I couldn't be a rapper. Or they said I wasn't you know it, I wasn't you know from the hood or whatever you wanna call it. Um, I don't know nothing about. Whatever they talking about these days, man. Drugs, sex, bitches, all that shit. I'm not. I'm not with it. I'm doing me, and that's what I feel like doing. Nobody ever said, "Oh, if you ain't never killed nobody, you can't be a rapper, or you ain't got no bodies in the bag, man. You can't be no rapper." No. Nah. I'm Gary Julian. I'm a high school graduate. You know, I've been to college for a year, but now I'm doing my own thing, and I, I just want to encourage all the all the kids in my position who feel like. Music is their calling, but you know, everybody's always telling them, oh, it's no money in it. You know, you're not gonna really get a good career. Everybody's trying to do music now. You're right, everybody's trying to do music, but not everybody wants it as bad as another. I want it, I want it, point blank period. Nobody can tell me that I can't. Nobody's gonna, nobody can say anything or do anything to take my passion away from me. And that's what I want to share with everybody. And that's, that's what the deal is. That's what it is when it comes to Gary Julian. You know, passion, perfection, always. I'ma kick back, kick back. Straight riding, straight will be cruising, y'all. Don't know much of oral, still getting rain in the middle. We don't give up. I'ma kick back, kick back. Straight riding, straight will be cruising, y'all. We lounging back.